Why, hello there. What brings you here today? Oh, you, you want to hear about Armageddon Mud? You want to hear some stories? Well, you've come to the right place. If you noticed the title on this video, yes, this will most likely be my final video about ARM. Why, you might ask. Well, it's very simple. Father Time is undefeated. And I'm very busy IRL, so I really do not foresee myself making another video on ARM. And you'll find out later on in the video. You know, you gotta, you're just going to have to listen. So let's preface this. I haven't seriously played the game in well over a year now. So everything I'm going to talk about is well and good in the past. Uh, what I would like to do is share some of my PCs with everyone today. Something I usually would uh, have no interest in doing. But I think it's good for the game, for players to share their experiences. Uh, my Here it is, my almighty PC list for the past eight years or so. Most of these are throwaways, actually. Um, yeah, there's not, oh, here we go. Okay, so down here is Greaves. Um, God, that was a long time ago. I played him in the bin for a couple of years, if I remember correctly. The main thing he was known for was... Um, I killed uh, Bin Sergeant Siltai with him. Um, I was playing with Hatanaya, the Templar. I was like supposed to go up north and kill people and take their tattooed, the star tattoos on their hands. Uh, anyway, he died. He actually died in the Rinth. I went into the back room with the guild, kind of like as like a, a show of solidarity, and ended up getting killed. Um, when I was in the back room, like five people logged on because they knew I was decently strong, but like a bunch of people just randomly logged on and jumped on me and killed me. So yeah, definitely no uh, OOC collusion going on there. <laughs> um, anyway, um, I don't really remember any of these guys. Oh, Ishley. We can talk about him a little bit. Uh, Ishley wasn't, like... So, Ishley was my, like, actual, like, recent return PC in 2019. He was just an elf in the bin. In the bin. Nothing too special about him. He got one-shotted by a mull. Oh, I feel really bad. Uh, so, this is... I had this this elf in the in the labyrinth. Um, and uh, what ended up happening was... Uh, I, I, God, I felt really stupid and bad about this. But I was fighting this PC, and he ran back to the bar in... Um, I can't believe I'm admitting this, but anyway, I threw some knives at this guy in the guild bar, and then I snuck in because I was out of knives to pick up a knife and go back out and throw it back in. And and, and when I did it, I was like, oh my god, what am I doing? Anyway, someone actually animated, uh, started throwing animations my way, and thankfully, you know, I ran away, but then I got I got one shot by I think a mole, um, uh guilder, and I totally deserved it. Uh, anyway, uh, <clears throat> so I had a few more throwaways here, PCs. Some of these just got unlucky with like poison, and then one of them got oh, one of them got unlucky with a clan compound p kill. Uh, I know I had a dwarf in here that one of the bin sergeants p killed in the compound by like kicking me from the clan. Yeah, great pick there for that roll call, huh? <laughs> we'll talk some more. About oh, uh, so yeah, right here. Um, I had a PC in the bin around this time, and I got passed up for uh, a sergeant roll call for someone who was like brand new to the clan and the game. I think. It was actually pretty funny because he played one of the worst sergeants I've ever seen in the game. And that's not, you know, that's fine. But, like, why pass over, you know, a veteran? Anyway, I don't want to talk too much about it. But he ended up storing or being banned or something. And on the GDB was, like, complaining about how he was treated because people knew who he was or something. I don't know. It was really weird. But it was just hilarious that I got passed up for that. Um, by the way, I've never been accepted for a roll call, despite putting in for several over the years. So make of that what you will. <laughs> Grudges. <laughs> oh, God. Got something in my throat there. Um, anyway. Oh, Cutter. Yeah, let's talk about this guy. Uh, so Cutter was supposed to be... Uh, so I hated his short description. Oh, my God. I thought it was going to get declined when I put it in. But they actually accepted it. He had, like, a glorious mustache or something. He was dyed with a glorious mustache. Anyway, I actually hated the character. I played him kind of um, flamboyant. Uh, and I don't want to say, like, gay or anything, but flamboyant. And, um, I don't know. He never I never really... I, I don't know what I was doing with this character, honestly. He gave out massages and was all about his... He was like a, a barber, you know? And um, I don't know. I stored him. I, I was in the Karak for a little while, playing around some pretty crappy players, to be honest. So uh, I played with a Solari, Sargon Solari, and I just immediately was like, fuck, this head's awesome. So uh, he convinced Cutter to leave and come with him down to Alanac. So I left, um, and I played with Sargon because he's a fucking awesome player. Whoever played him, I don't know who it was. But, um, yeah, that's it for him, and I stored him 
uh, so that I could move. On. Oh, this red was a gladiator. Uh, I stored him because my uh, half giant got approved. I special apped a half giant because I didn't have enough karma. So I special apped Mosh, my half giant. Uh, Mosh was pretty awesome. I actually probably had more fun playing him than almost any other character. Um, just because I had never played a half giant, so it was my first half giant. Uh, he was he was so dumb, like not dumb, but like he was innocent, you know. So he like he would like take random if you dropped something, he felt like oh that's something that's okay for me to like take that. So he would just like take it. <laughs> so I was like hey you can't steal that. He didn't really understand what stealing was, and there was a whole that was a bunch of fun in the bin. So I got convinced to um, like join the raiders and stuff, and then I ended up dying to the uh, red t to the talons. I wanted to die anyway. I was I was a. Uh, he, did, he didn't understand how to run, so like I was fighting, and the other dude just ran away. Uh, Loden, who was a complete coward, like he ran from every P PvP encounter I've ever seen. I've never seen a player run more than that. But anyway, uh, so yeah, he. Uh, I ended up dying because Mosh didn't really understand about like retreating and stuff. That kind of wasn't his thing. So anyway, and th there was another instance where he didn't retreat and ended up killing everything. But anyway, uh, yeah, not really too much to say about him. He was really fun. Flint was actually a really fun character. That was a dwarf. Man, I really wanted to play him, but I ended up ha I died, died in the bin training hall because I attacked a sergeant. Um, but it was kind of in my focus to do so. So it was a pretty legit kill. Um, or not kill. I mean, I attacked a sergeant because of what he was doing. It was like, I don't know what he was doing. I think he was going to torture someone or something. And uh, my dwarf's focus was, had something to do with that. Anyway, I died for doing that. Um... I was sad when I lost Flint. I was really into that character, but it doesn't matter. And then these two PCs were unlucky with the poison, I think. And then um, finally here we are, uh, Laramar, right? So this is like my last serious, serious go. Um, this character was supposed to be my magnum opus, right? So like I wanted to live for a long time. I wanted to change Raider mentalities in the Crimson Wind. I was putting six hours a day into this character. I wanted to redeem myself as a, you know, quote unquote, bad player. I wanted to prove that I could be a great leader, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So he was a special app straight into the clan. I was actually really happy when it got approved. I did, I thought it would get denied, but I guess with special apps, they're more open to like allowing players to play like kind of what they feel like they want to play. But I was at my all time high. Like my morale was really high with Arm at the time when I got accepted with Laramar and I was playing him. Uh, There's a decent amount of players around Red Storm. And I felt really good about, like, the whole thing, right? The whole situation that was going on. And I, so I only P-killed a couple people. I P-killed uh, three players over three months of playtime, basically one player a month. And those players gave me no choice. It was either they attacked me or they had a gem or something. Um, and then the conflict I created was, like, completely organic. So I would, like, routinely patrol around Alanac alone. When I first started, I had to go alone. There's nobody in the wind. It was a dead clan. And I would collect like these tributes for the wind and I'd log it into an Excel spreadsheet or just like a, a spreadsheet on the form, on the clan form. And then once I had a solid group of like three or four players, we would go out and like fight between like 10 and 15 bin PCs along with an absurdly maxed warrior, Gordo. So on top of all that, there was also a Templar that really wanted to kill me for some unknown reason. So he would patrol around with Gordo and like 10 plus soldiers and bin PCs from time to time. Just look for me, kind of like contact me and talk shit. It was just funny. Uh, needless to say, like we were always heavily outnumbered. Um, we always put up a good fight and, you know, we always had to run. <laughs> There's no choice there, right? It was super fun. And uh, I hope anybody who played during that time period had fun with the like the threat that Laramar posed to your patrols and contracts. And if you played with Laramar, I hope you had fun as well. So that was, like, that was always my goal. Uh, the funny thing about all that fighting is I never actually attacked someone first. Like I was always attacked first and I just simply retaliated. So that's pretty funny. Go figure, right? Um, okay, trying to make this quick. So um, I'm, I'm getting into kind of like the meat here. So one of the big problems I had with Laramar, right, was running into these sorcerers outside. And the, the first one was near the pillar and was pretty was cool. It was honestly like a cool little like set, like role play uh, scene. Um, I forget their name, but uh, they were in invisible. And like we spoke briefly, she would hang out at the oh, my God, I'm sorry. She would hang out at the Red Storm bar periodically. And then uh, I think we like killed a mech lot together or something at one point. It was like a little that was kind of cool. Um, the second one was Theo, not a. Um, I guess a sorcerer, a defiler, who Laramar like actually kind of took to because like we had some meetings out in the wastes, and it's kind of like, oh, this guy's like really an outcast, you know? Um, and he would show himself to me, you know, like he would become visible. 
Uh, so we had a really fun RPT together where like a few of the wind PCs died and I felt bad, but honestly, like if I died there, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have minded it because the RPT was just fucking sweet (laughs) and the staffer that ran it, like the animations were awesome. So that was fun. That was really actually a really fun time. Um, and then the third one was Kutai, 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 I don't know, the waste worn starveling elf I've ever written. Now. So what led to, this is what led to Laramar's demise, right? Like I see Lee was Kutai telling me like, don't work for Theo, right? You know, he's, you know, I'm, I'm obviously like, I'm a preserver and you can't work for Theo, you know, which is odd to me because if you have a problem with him, like, why don't you just go fight or kill him? Like, why, like, why is what I'm doing like affecting you? So I didn't know what the fuck defiling, like Laramar didn't know what defiling and preserving was obviously he was an uneducated escaped slave that was built as like a gift for a noble like he was a sex slave and like a uh you know like a like a bodyguard kind of but um regardless though i guess like from an out of character perspective i was a bit upset that i was getting involved between this shit like all this shit that was going on with all these powerful like sorcerers i wanted nothing to do with it from an out of, you know i didn't like seriously i just wanted to deal with mundanes but the they were always on and they were all they like knew where i was and they were always around when i was on and anyway you're going to find out why so long story short like i end up fighting kutai outside alanak like i see the blur i look at him like oh that's them let me attack them probably shouldn't have attacked but ultimately it wouldn't have mattered because like they wanted to pk me no matter what so alanak uh anyway i got like instantly paralyzed obviously there's no way that there's no way that a mundane can win against um like a paralyzed role there's just no way like even as a mall i obviously i didn't like, just didn't resist it um paralyzed subdued thrown into a portal over alanak subsequently arrested taken to the dungeons whereupon the templar that was always like chasing me around and, forget his name he came in and like gave me a little death scene or whatever and there was like 10 pcs that showed up like bin sard i think everybody was in the dungeons like holy shit um it was actually um it wasn't too bad of a scene because i made it fucking good and i know i would you know but ultimately like i was upset at the whole situation i didn't want Laramar to last three months i wanted him to last three years and as i said before you know most of the times uh, if it's a legitimate kill i I don't mind you know like i've lost plenty of characters legitimately and and that's fine i don't get uh, upset about you know being p killed um i didn't until recently knowing that knowing what i know now is what really upset me like from an out of character perspective and it's just like come full circle that kutai is a well let me can you guess can, can we, ding 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 staff avatar what do we have for him bob that's right so yeah i basically died the same exact way 20 years of art with two of my more memorable pcs that i was trying to like do something with you know um Ultimately, like, I harbor no ill will towards Arm or the staff or whoever ended up P-killing me for arbitrary and conflicting reasons. I hope it was worth it. (laughs) I have no interest in playing a game where um, I'm playing in someone else's sandbox, right? So um, I loved my time playing Arm. I have a lot of fond memories of the game. And I'm sad that I don't have more time and energy uh, to give to the game. But, like, uh, I'm very tired of my efforts uh, going to waste over staff wanting to kill off my characters. Because that's obviously, like, kind of like how I see it, you know. So that's how I feel. Um, I have nothing else really to say about it. I I hope you all enjoy the video. You can hit me up on Discord. If you really want to, you know, if you want to chat about MUDs, I'll always be around. Hey, that's it. We're, uh, we're all done here. What, what, what are you still doing here? All right, smooth sands, shade and profits, and uh, all that other stuff.